My mom is old Latino lady, which means she's racist. That's what, that's what they usually are when they're old, man. She is, this is the thing. Like, she likes talking shit about everybody who's not Latino in public. And what she does is she goes from English to Spanish in her sentences so nobody can catch on, which is respectable. But she goes at the wrong part of the sentence so people still understand what the fuck she's saying about them. Which is like, what's the point? Like, we got on the bus and these two people didn't smell too good and they sat down right next to us. And she was like, hi, te llamo, te llamo, huele malo. Stink. I don't, I don't. <laughs> mira, mira. Esa es la razón porque yo no, no me gusta these fucking Russians. I'm like, all right, man. Okay. Okay, that was the most important part. And you fucked it up. I can't, I can't do this shit with you. Man. <laughs> Get off this bus, man. I like rap, man. I like rap a lot. I like hip hop. I like, I like Jay Z. He's one of my favorites. But he has way, yeah, but he has way too much money. He has way too much money. He has so much money he can inconvenience other people's lives. I'm gonna tell you guys why. Because him and Beyonce had the Blue Ivy kid last year, and they was able to close off an entire section of the hospital just to have that kid. There was a guy who had a nephew at ICU. He couldn't see him because Jay Z was there. Imagine that. Imagine trying to get into a hospital to see a loved one, and there's a bouncer there, and you're like, hey man. <laughs> And you're like, hey, man, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to see my nephew. I'm, I'm in a hurry. He's like, nah, son, hole's in the building. I can't do that for you. Sorry, man. And he's like, but I have a nephew in there. He was in the house fire. He has third degree burdens all over. And the dude's like, well, was that fire hotter than the Black Album? No? Then shut the fuck up. Ain't nothing hotter than that album, son. That's a classic right there. That is a fucking <laughs> it's a classic. Ball so hard, son. Groove, like rap, groove in a bad neighborhood. That's where people usually like rap in that area and shit. It was bad. People got shot in the face a lot, which is pretty funny, but not really. And I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you how much they didn't care about sh killing people. All right, one, dude, one Saturday, this dude got shot in the building where I live, in front of the building where I live, by, around 12 p.m. By 12.10, there was already a group of dudes freestyle rap battling in the same spot the dude got shot in. And I don't even think they took the body away. I think they were freestyling over the body. That's how much they didn't give a fuck. And I looked outside because I was concerned. And one of the dudes was like, was rapping. He was like, yo, son, my rhymes can murder any dude out here. Don't believe me? Ask this guy. And they were like, oh, shit. And I started throwing the body back and forth in celebration. <laughs> and the dude got signed to Def Jam. So it was good. It was worked out for him. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this. I, I talk like a little bit about sex with girls because I feel like my dick is important. And I'll, I'll tell you, and ladies, don't, don't act crazy when you get into a relationship because when you act crazy, men develop superpowers just to get the fuck away from y'all. Like, my first girlfriend was out, was out of her mind, and we were having sex one time, and she was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I was like, I'm coming. And she was like, stay inside of me. And I was like, ew, why? And she was like, <laughs> I'm very blunt, I'm sorry. And, and she was like, because I want to get pregnant and have a reason for you to stay. That's what she told me. Yeah, oh, yeah, fucking crazy, right? And that was my first superhero moment because that was the first time I was ever able to throw a fully grown chick off me. Like, it was very strong. <laughs> it was very Thor-like. It was like, din, 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 like I threw across the room. I didn't mean to. It was such a heavy statement that I didn't know how to react. And I'm mad I didn't have like a cool catchphrase. Like, you know, Hulk smash. Or it's clobbering time. All I screamed was, no babies. And I threw across the room. Anyway, that's my time, guys. You've been great. My name is Christian. Enjoy the rest of the show.